email all these people who are in the room who are like keen on quinoa and they're feasting on bone broth and fasting on the paleo or the Aitkins or they're only nibbling organic, non-irritated, biodynamic, fair trade tofu. Is that all a waste of time? I mean, is all the secrets of, of illness and health contained in our poo? It's a very interesting question. Thank God question. you're Aussies, by the way. I mean, I've never had discussed poo during lunch, but, you know. Well, oh. Who gives you kind of an insight into what might be happening in your whole system? Mm -hmm. So it, we, we think of poo as kind of waste product. But in fact, uh, it, it transpires that, in fact, that those trillions of bugs that we talked about, Catherine talked about, are not just inert things. They're little factories that metabolize your fiber, metabolize all your waste product, and then feed back things that impact on your health. So yes, poo is important because it gives us an insight in what's going on. And what, what's absolutely fascinating about this field is the realization that this is something that can be changed mm. towards better health. Mm. So I think poo sounds disgusting, especially if you're having lunch. <laughs> but think of the bigger picture, think of what they can actually tell you about your health and certainly how you can change it. So is this just a gut feeling you have about the gut? <laughs> or has the science progressed, progressed to the point where we know that specific disease signatures are present in a person's poo for conditions like autism, asthma, obesity, etc. Yeah, it's a very nice question, Kathy, because essentially we know the broad outlines. So if you have somebody who's healthy, who you know eats well, you avoid kind of processed foods, you exercise, you're not taking any medications, you're so you know all of these kind of positive things. There is a picture that is emerging that this is actually a healthy kind of microbiome. Mm -hmm. And if you compare that with something that is associated with disease, there's definitely a difference. Mm -hmm. Now, that is not enough to, to use as your means of managing disease. It just gives you an idea of understanding why are they different? What is missing? What is needed to replenish this and get you back to that kind of healthy state? And that's where you need to do all the research to understand how you change it back to healthy.